Tommy, did you know that this year so far, over 2 million people in the United States bought a pickup truck? This year? This year, so far, just Jeez. this year. That's crazy, that's a huge number of folks. And you know, I bet you a lot of them, and a lot of you out there are wondering which ones are the least, and of course, most safe. And in this video, we're gonna rank the top five most safe mid-size trucks, you know, that's like the small ones, and of course, the full-size truck. So what we have here is the full list of mid-size and full-size trucks brought to you by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. They're the folks that actually did this rigorous crash testing. They test su stuff such as the small um, overlap impact, the moderate, moderate overlap impact side, roof strength, head restraint. Um, they look at safety systems, headlights, all of it. Yeah, and only one truck so far has the Insurance Institute Highway Safety top safety pick rating uh, right now. Can you guess which one? Don't tell them. They'll have to wait for the list. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. I love a proper set of power tools in the garage, and it's the same deal when it comes to grooming. Manscaped just came out with the Waterproof Lawnmower 4.0, and the only thing better than that is the Performance Package 4.0 bundle. It's got performance right in the name. This all-in-one kit has everything you need to impress the ladies, including replaceable ceramic blades, wireless charging, and a built-in LED. Manscaped even offers the Weed Whacker nose and ear hair trimmer in their performance pack, and of course a bottle of ball deodorant. To make sure you never run out of supplies, get enrolled in the Peak Hygiene Plan. Go to manscaped.com and get 20% off your order, plus free international shipping and a free travel bag and a pair of boxer briefs when you use the promo code Fastlane Truck at checkout. Trust me, your balls and your body will thank you. Now we are a long way from trucks of the past that had bench seats and no seat belts and no headrests and no crumple zones. Um, modern trucks nowadays have to run family duty. A lot of new trucks now are of course crew cabs with back seats that are used to take kids to school and to take families on road trips. So we felt it was interesting to compile a list of the safest and least safe trucks according to the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. Now do you want to talk about how they rate the trucks? Well, they, they, they crash them. Yes, they do, but they rate them based on poor through marginal, uh, an acceptable and good, and then, of course, the top safety pick. So it's not like it's scored 1 to 10. It's based on, uh, you know, basically, is it good or is it bad or is it marginal or is it beyond good? Yep, and then the safety trucks have pedestrian detection, um, automatic emergency braking systems. So it's, uh, it's very interesting. Unfortunately, there are some trucks that don't fare so well, and we'll talk about those from least safe to safe. With that, let's get right to it. Let's start with the mid-sized trucks, and let's rate them from worst to best. So you want to start with number five, Tommy. Yep, so the worst rated mid-sized truck on the market currently is probably not much of a surprise, but the 2021 Nissan Frontier. It's also the oldest truck probably on the market. Uh, you know, it dates back to the mid-2000s, and as such, it scored pretty poorly in safety rating. So it scored marginal in both driver side and passenger side small overlap crash tests. And basically what that means is they drive it at a big non-movable wall and they hit it with just part of the vehicle um, directly into the wall. And it's, it's actually a newer test that's uh, been around for a few years now, but it's proven to be quite difficult and the Frontier did not do very well in those categories. But Tommy, it did score an acceptable for head restraint and seats. That's right, and then it doesn't have any front crash prevention system either, so that is another area where it definitely struggled. So, um, let's move on to number four. Just want to remind people that this is the current Nissan Frontier we're talking about, not the new one which is coming and has been unveiled that has not yet been tested. That's right, yep, absolutely. So, this is the 2021 Frontier that you can go out and buy right now. All right, what about number four, Tommy? Number four is the GMC Canyon and Chevrolet Colorado. Once again, we're still in the mid-size truck category. Now, crew cab models scored good in driver's side crash tests. However, the extended cab models scored only acceptable. Yeah, I know, that's uh, pretty shocking. Uh, but both uh, Colorado and Canyon scored marginal, Tommy, on the passenger side crash test and also scored poor on headlights, that's the worst among the current crop of mid-sized trucks. So if you want good headlights, look elsewhere. That's right, yeah. Um, and headlights are an area, I think, where new vehicles definitely need to improve upon. So it's, uh, it's good to see that they're doing this testing in a pretty rigorous way because a lot of the trucks on this list have marginal or poor headlights. In fact, 
Only I think one or two have a option for a good rated headlight. The rest are um, not not faring super well. Yeah, I mean, t headlight technology is improving by leaps and bounds. You know, we've gone from old incandescent uh, headlights to obviously halogens, and now we're talking about LEDs, and the Europeans are putting laser lights in their vehicles, which have yet to be improved. But yeah, uh, light tech is improving leaps and bounds, but because of our regulations and because of the cost of manufacturing, and I kind of feel like a lot of our cars and trucks, unfortunately, do not have the latest and greatest headlights. All right, let's go to number three. What's number three on our list? So number three is the Honda Ridgeline. It's a unibody uh, pickup truck, so it's not a traditional body on frame, as many of you know, but the Honda Ridgeline scored good on most crash tests. So if I look here, it was good on the small overlap for the driver's side. It was acceptable on the passenger side, but moderate was good, side was good, roof was good, head restraints all good, the optional safety system rated well, um, headlights were marginal, and the latch ease of use was acceptable. So there you have it. Yeah, and uh, the notes say that the vehicle to pedestrian was not tested, and obviously what we're talking about there are uh, the new auto autonomous braking where the car either or truck knows that there's a pedestrian in front of you and will either warn you or will actually actuate the brakes if it feels like you're going to crash into a pedestrian or another vehicle or in some of the cases, especially if you're in the Scandinavian countries, a moose, Tommy. That's right. Yeah, so um, marginal <laughs> on headlights, but apart from that, looking pretty good. And if we go to number two, which is the Ford Ranger, virtually the same as the Ridgeline, so good on most crash tests. They haven't tested head restraints or seats yet. Um, also has a solid front prevention uh, score, including vehicle to pedestrian tests, and then marginal on the headlights as well. Yep. Uh, and then if you want the safest truck in the land, it's also the most popular truck uh, in the midsize segment. What is that, Tommy? So that's the Tacoma. So it's good rating across most crash tests. It's acceptable on the passenger side, small overlap like the Ridgeline and the Ranger, but it has good headlights if you get the TRD model or the limited with the LEDs, which is pretty cool. Um, so that, that's good to see that they're actually scoring a little green dot on headlights versus most of the red and the orange dot for the other trucks. You know, I'm going to be really curious to see how, for instance, the Rivian does when it comes out. You know, Tesla has done really well in all of their safety testing. Uh, they get the highest... Uh, uh, potential uh, score on most safety tests, and I'm wondering if Rivian will follow that same path uh, and take uh, this very seriously. I'm hoping so, but once again, the truck's not out yet, so has yet to be tested, but we will certainly let you know when that is out there. All right, so let's skip to the trucks now that most people buy, and that is the full size or half tons. Uh, you want to start with number five, actually, Number four in this case, the worst, because one has not been tested, unfortunately. Yeah, so the worst is currently the Toyota Tundra. It's a marginal rating on the driver's side small overlap test. It's poor on the passenger side small overlap test, acceptable on roof strength rating, the only full-size truck to score lower than good, and marginal on the headlights. Yeah, it's funny how these line up with how old the truck is, right? Yep. Uh, so the Tundra is by far the oldest full-size truck out there. It did do pretty well on um, the front crash prevention vehicle to vehicle because it was a standard system on the Tundra, which is cool to see. And if you're wondering about the new one, uh, not yet out, not yet tested, but once again, when it comes out, we'll update you. Okay, what's next, Tommy? Next safest or least safe? Next is the Chevy Silverado. So it did better than the Tundra. It scored marginal passenger side crash test rating, good on all the other crash tests, and a superior rating on the front crash prevention system when fitted with optional safety packages and vehicle to pedestrian um, prevention has not been rated on the Titan, or on the, the Silverado. You gave away number two, Tommy. I'm sorry. <laughs> and that, that's, by the way, Silverado Sierra. It's an often overlooked v truck. It's the Nissan Titan. Oh, uh, one, one more thing. Yes. Poor on the headlight rating. On of the, course. Sierra and Silverado. Yeah, yeah. Truck headlights are, you know, Audi's putting laser lights like on everything and trucks are still way, way, way behind. At least a lot of trucks are. Uh, so number two is the often underappreciated, underrated, I think, Nissan Titan. It's actually relatively new. It's only a couple of years old. And it's uh, good across the board, uh, except for the small overlap passenger. It was acceptable and poor headlights. But apart from that, it scored really well. Uh, and then, of course, the number one truck, which is one of also the newest trucks, and you've guessed it by now, it's the what? 
It's the Ram 1500. It's the only truck to get a top safety pick rating by the IIHS. It's good on all crash tests, solid ratings on frontal crash prevention systems when fitted with the optional safety packages, good headlights on some trims. That includes Laramie Longhorn and Limited and TRX. Other trims get marginal headlights, but um, the headlights are what kept it from the top safety pick plus, but apart from that, it's good across the board on the crash test ratings. Have you noticed that the headlights are uh, good in the expensive trims? Well, I know, it's a shame. I wish they were good in all the trims, that's I, for sure. I kind of feel like, um, you know, safety equipment should not be something that you pay for. It should be something that is, uh, you know, sold across the line of every model of every truck and car. Uh, you know, I, I mean, we're all on the road together and we all want to be as safe as possible so why are you you know giving the safest stuff to the most expensive trucks that's just my personal opinion but wait Tommy what about the Ford F-150 it's brand new right so IIHS has not yet published the results for the new F-150 um, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration hasn't rated it either so it's still too new to really know the full details about I will say the old one scored very very well but I'm excited to see what the 2021 model does. Yeah, it had good vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle front crash protection. When uh, equipped in the old one. Yeah, and the only thing that was poor on it really was the headlight once again. Right, so hopefully the new one addresses the headlight and maintains the good across the board. Well, there you guys have it. I mean, if you're looking for uh, the safest truck out there, uh, then obviously if it's a mid if it's a mid-sized truck, get yourself a Tacoma. Uh, and if it's a full-size truck, get yourself a Ram. Anyway, check out tfltruck.com for more news, views, and of course, real-world reviews. See you guys next time. Ciao. I love watching trucks crash. There's something very uh, interesting and, in a way, satisfying about you know having trucks destroyed for a good reason and not a bad reason.